Hello, hello, hello. Surprise! I'm here to play Martha is Dead. Surprise. Martha is Dead is a first-person psychological thriller. Set in 1944, Italy, that blurs the lines between reality, superstition, and the tragedy of war. Alright, so let's get into it. Let's just get right into it. Alright, let's start it. Hopefully everything goes good. My computer kind of sounds like it's on fire, so... The story of Martha is dead and featured characters are work of fiction. The, the game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind's psychological trauma and self-harm. This game is not recommended for players who may find deceptions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. <sighs> Disclaimer right there. Is this Martha? Ooh. I feel like my game's going to lag. Uh-oh. Ciao, I'm Julia. Julia K. Oh, hi, I'm Julia. Glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. Oh, my box is now. covering the I must tell you my subtitles. story, but I don't know where to begin. From the beginning? There is so much that I should start from my childhood. Okay. The memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Okay. New chapter to the legend. Summer 1929. Nanny, will you tell me the story of the white lady? No, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil. Why is that doll naked? We're not actually bad. Just like Whoa. soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She oh, poor dear. Soon I'll, so I'll be a young woman. And she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. Whoa. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Yeah, where's Martha? Your sister is with your mother. So do not worry. Oh. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little. But what kind of board game is that? With you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. So are they in the UK? Will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, Stop. could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Didn't they say the fog, the white, the white lady killed people? She's like, this story made me so happy. To an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman. Who was killed by the man she loved. <laughs> the Trojan. Oh, she was expecting a lover's Whoa. by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake. I wonder why she killed people. <laughs> Look at that face. So Look at those arms. The death I'm sorry. Was awaiting her. Who was Popeye? Oh. Um, let's keep listening. In despair, oh, the man Lord. confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. 
Jealousy of what? So he was oh. hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. This is a great child story. They searched everywhere. Yeah. But the girl's body was never found. Sounds like a murder to me. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, mm -hmm. has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. And you too could grow up just like her, honey. When fog arises, oh God. the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain within the fog of dawn hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance her arms her arms look like they'd be like oogity boogity boo she looked like one of those wacky inflatable the dolls sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul she takes the life of a young woman uh -huh. slaying such a life in its youth deception the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Does uh, my mom know you're reading these kind of stories? But when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories did not return until 15 years later. Um, that's a long time. When I oh, okay. In that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. What? My father created a device that attached to the cameras. What? You can take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. What was he trying to photograph? <laughs> Wait, I'm the sister of Martha, right? So is she gonna find Martha dead? Reel off the film. What? The hell does reel off the film mean? Open the camera. Um, you're a little late on that. Put the new film in. She's a little slow on her uh Expla explaining. Close the camera. Okay, she was on time. Load the film. Activate the timer. Uh huh. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Can you move your big old thumb, please? Oh, she's using a magnifying glass? Floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. What? <laughs> oh, cop, what is that? What? Is that a person? I must help them. What? That doesn't look like a per- Look like a mosquito. Oh. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. Oh, in her lake. She owns it. Sorry. Where I would spend entire day. Oh, she's upset. Don't you drown in my lake. Not on my watch. Contaminate my. Alright, take all your clothes off. You do that. Uh huh. You take all those clothes off. Oh, that's deaf. That's Martha right there. Oh, get the fuck. Tell those fish to get the fuck out of the way. Martha, how dare you swim in my fucking- like, you have the audacity to be gone and then come back and drown. Who the fuck do you think you are? 
You know, if she thought somebody was drowning, why didn't she bring the boat that the person to was wearing one of my dresses? Oh, one of her. The audacity. She could use the boat. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. Martha. It was my sister. My twin. A part of me. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. They were twins. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. Okay. To fit. That's fine. They're twins. One out. You got another. I have to Nobody would know the difference. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh. Martha is not dead. You... Yeah, um, it's not possible. You know she could. Yeah, maybe she's alive. It's not true. There's no need to worry. She's just playing dead. You know. Everything <laughs> is fine. What is that? Is that a necklace? Everything will be fine. You know, I don't think everything's gonna be fine. I have to stay calm. You know. Wow, she snatched that up fast. Martha, February 26, 1923. So is she gonna pretend to be Martha? What's her name then? Is everything okay? Margra. Um, don't walk on my lake. Those her parents? My parents ran oh. towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me. Oh, so she was <laughs> she was the hated twin. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. So is that how they to told the twins apart was by their necklace? I nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. Oh, you know, that makes sense so that she would pretend to be Martha because her parents... They love Martha, so why not be the favorite child? O oh Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Why is she wearing shoes in the casket? In hands, I also That's a party myself. fail. So that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O oh Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Dad, get up. Mommy always finds something for everyone to do. Mom is always nagging. Oh, Dad's drunk again. Dad's an alcoholic. What hints can be disabled within the game? I wonder if I just tripped. Like, what? Like, oh. Oh. Okay. Um. So it wants if you're getting up, right? Because that looks... First off, that looks very unstable. It's just like leaning against the casket. Who set this up? Candles fall. Just set her on fire. What was the other sister's name? I don't even know. Turn this fucking music off. I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. What does it say? July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. July 17th, oh. 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. 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 
July 17, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss, and we send you our heartfelt condolences. Oh my gosh. The Lieutenant Colonel Lapater. There's no reason to use the plane right now. Wow, don't gotta say it with attitude. There's no reason to use the phone. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. Is that the model? Ooh. Okay, why does she? She's like, oh, those books. Dad, get up. Daddy must be devastated. Oh, she calls him so. daddy. I messed up, and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candle, and let him find some comfort and sleep. He didn't miss you, sweetheart. Oh, I thought that was Daddy's a flashlight. Sofa. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. If he's not out at the bar getting drunk. What is that? A lighter? Set him on fire. Who holds- Okay, first off. Martha, if you're gonna be fake Martha. Holding the lighter like that. What in the psychopath is that? Who? What is this? The Italian Amy Winehouse? Okay, the- the way she's holding sliders is kind of... Can I set her on fire? Shut up. Told you. Oh, I thought she was gonna say- This whole situation S making me see things that don't make sense. Saw so what? You dead? You should be dead. You're sick. Oh. She could have brought those in. Make me do everything, Mom. Everything always has to be perfect for her. Thanks for the help, guys. Uh oh, the war's coming. Oh god, we're gonna start getting bombed. What do I do with the fucking flowers? What? London is calling? What do they want? Tell them to the fuck off. Here, dad. Mom wishes you were dead. Mom wishes you'd stop drinking so much. Why do they- Oh, because the guests are coming. Why are they coming at night? Who's ringing that? The ghosts? Satan? What's happening? Who closed the door? Satan's definitely here. Eric, Eric, wake up. Eric. <laughs> what, what does she want him to sleep in the coffin? Oh, what are that. they talking about? Stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? What? <laughs> you have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. I don't want Remember? her. What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. Oh. What kind of comment is that? He knows. How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Marta being deaf and for you being infertile. What? Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Oh. You realize that? Of course I realize. They, they, okay, I, they don't realize. Do See, I'm it is. No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. 
I'm the crazy one? Me? She's watching. They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, you. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. So Martha's death. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately oh. intervened, hoped to find out. Was that my death was so the non-British accent. Mother. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me, too, that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Martha's going to come kill you. Martha has lost her soul. Oh, she okay. She's fi she's fine. She's just filming a video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I live in a lake for 24 hours. Rolly cord. See, but now we don't know who's who. Is that Martha or is that Gulia? Because of twins. I I stole her identity. Don't let the bank know. I stole her identity. 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 We stole her identity. Who stole her identity? I stole her identity. The poppies stole her identity. Oh gosh, she dead! Oh! Whoa, 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 Julia! What's she doing? Oh, she she really still in her eye. Okay, I'm just. All right, rip her face off. Going in there hot with the rusty right. You know, just take the whole thing off. Trolls are kind of wonky. Rip it off. Rip it. Oh. Yeah, you rip that face off. Martha is no more because I become Martha. Then she's gonna be running around, the f face gonna be flapping. I am Martha. Martha lives! 
I am Martha. Oh, wow, okay. The beast has come out. Just a dream. Oh. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. The fish, she's like, oh god, I saw the horrendous face of my sister. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. Okay, um, my question is, what is that picture? Why did he look like he kidnapping those kids? <laughs> uh, can I not move? Oh, let me look at this picture. This is Martha and me at the festival of the Pinchant Saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... What is she grabbing? What's she reaching behind? Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. There's no picture. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Yes. Can I capture Martha's soul? Yes. The camera. That, that was a spoiler. What is this? Scary fairy tale. Oh! Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and... Is that supposed to be the seven dwarfs? Okay. She looks like she lives in a fairy tale. Oh, we're, we live in... Oh, Martha. She's not Martha. You Wait, no, is she actually Martha? Wait, so am I really Martha? I am Martha. Martha, open the door. Oh no, I'm not Mommy Martha. Will be like having her with me. Mommy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Yeah. Should I wear this? She's a magician. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Um, we know what happened. You can Oh, are you telling me you can't open it? It's July 18th. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. What? Where's my reflect? Hello? I can't see myself. What is this pencil? Why is it double-sided? Is that what they use in Italy? A double-sided pencil? I always keep my trinket box locked. Is this their room? This is how they kept their room? So they would wake up in the morning and it was like a mirror because they're twins. And their rooms were exactly identical, but then they had different favorite cup. That is fucking weird. And then and then they share a double-sided pencil. Gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Who is that, your secret boyfriend? Your whore! What is that, a bag? Everything I need is always in my bag. It's the key to my trinket box. Alright, can you open it please? Hurry up. Here is my diary. All right, let's open it up and read it. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird oh, it's just convenient she gave the house. She's like, I'll give you guys my house. I'll stay in the mansion. One of the few happy Hello. memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here, and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. July 16th, 1944. 
There's something creepy about the woods. Do, should you see that? It's a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. The white lady is you, sweetheart. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. It t crazy? In fact, I'd say I'm excited. That's I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Why is she for a good swim. trying to photograph her feet? Why is she honest, posing like Martha that? doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Shut up, mom. Okay? What? Okay, okay. I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. Just turn on when my. When she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha, and I can't hear them. You need to be. Oh, cause she's deaf. Or I will be in serious trouble. So she's like, oh, maybe I'll turn the light on. Does she not know it's daytime? Where the hell was she talking that she was talking? Strange. Why did they lock my room? What? Wait a minute. How did she lock my- No, 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 no. Wait. I'm confused because isn't this our room right here? What? God, why are these rooms locked? What's going on in here, huh? Of course, locked. What Dad is this? Loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. You know what? You're sad. Maybe these prints don't like you. Maybe you have no taste in art. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. Yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, dear Raymond. It's on the table. Can't you see? And that camera. Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irene. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for you, yeah. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. The sword. See, my fear is as still. I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's Who's honking? We have too much to do. Can't stay here all day talking. You know she's so over here. Like, right. do her. Martha always read everything. Oh, it's me who will now read the newspaper instead. Kids. I'll be out all day. Kids. Funeral preparations will take me a long time. She kept talking. Everything Kids. is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. You know what? Maybe they should fight in the war. I could definitely read this. Lunalano de Polo Polo. San Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinier. Oh. Very Sorry. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Julia K. Distressed but supported by Faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola. Oh, Julia K. Departing from the property of the deceased. Chocolate. A privilege. A chocolate? Oh, they can have that. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. Oh. Whoa. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph the sparrow. 
There are so many of them out here. You verify that. See? That was... see birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. You don't feed the pigeons, Martha. Taken the picture. Now Success! Go to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Oh. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Why do they just have her dead body chilling? Where the fuck is a cellar? She should just stay dead. We are so lucky. Oh, I found it. In these difficult times, lucky. These are empty and people are going hungry. Have you seen this house? German general for father. Oh, okay. Scarce. She. Oh, she's just about wine. I thought it was blood. <laughs> Time to get drunk. Daddy is so proud of it. Oh, he must be proud of it. Dark room. What? I thought she tripped. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Okay. What did your dad take photos of, huh? Martha, huh? To, de to develop a photo, you must have to use an enlarger. Wow, they're just making, you know, back then everything wasn't just easy. Snap a photo, print it out. I actually got to put in the work. Get my hands dirty. All right. <clears throat> Here's your printed photo. You can keep it in your album or scrap it. All shots remain available to print. That is a beautiful picture. I'm putting it in the album. Okay, so. Gotta get a tire pump. What? These could be of use to me. For what? 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 You just gonna put them in your pocket? Run around with them? What are you doing? This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I've ever seen it in the house. Okay. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? It is just bizarre how she calls them mommy and daddy. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. Yeah, well... When Welcome. I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Imagine that. Brew your own wine. That's why they're trying to get the wine.
Where was it at? Find a pump. Why can't she just use somebody else's bicycle? I mean, sh I feel like she's going to get another flat tire. Look at this terrain. Where do they drive vehicles? Okay, let's finish. What? I got stuck. Um, oh, it just happens to be right here. In front of this chair. Just strategically placed. Who put this here like that? Huh? Don't make me have to set this up. Sit down. Say cheese. Cheese. That looks like the most uncomfortable chair ever. All right. You know, like when they would be like, hey, <clears throat> smile. Silky. Okay, let's develop it. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they think I'm crazy. Oh, maybe I should have done something else. This picture's kind of ugly. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt and nor did Martha. Strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister, I had always envied her, and now I had taken her identity. Um, I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. So they just left their cameras there? Of course the door is locked. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. The rolls. Same day at 11.30 p.m. So they just left their cameras there by the lake. I don't think their cameras were waterproof. It's in his study. Why do they just have these chairs in random places like the... Oh my gosh, I'm lagging. How did they have their own room? They were just sharing a room. Very secure. Okay. Get. Oh my gosh. I mean, you would think that this lighter would be hot, wouldn't it? Okay. T tell me her parents did not hear that. You're just going to leave the front door open? That's fine. Grab that. You're not gonna grab a jacket? It's kinda seems kinda nippy outside, huh? Goddamn, okay. Down here. 
Why the hell do they? Um, for being in the middle of the war and being a high-ranking family, they don't have, like, security guards, personnel to, I don't know, retrieve the family stuff. I love the night, but this night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer... Going the wrong way. Sorry. Sorry. If I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing? <clears throat> what was that? Can I die? These controls, I'm not gonna lie, are kind of wonky. So, what? Yeah, I can't. Okay, it's like telling me to. To use the camera, but. No foggy lady, please. Please. Like, why do they only have fences at certain points? <clears throat> Oh no! Damn lamp! Luckily I still have my lighter with me. Um, that's a sign we need to turn back. <gasps> I think this is a, a job from mommy and daddy. The cameras are somewhere around here. Oh, somewhere? Really? You think they're somewhere? Not just right in front of you. Two cameras left. You know, you saw her. Oh yeah, just go right by the lake. This is very safe. Don't mind the bugs. Oh, that's not the camera. I thought that was the camera. My bad. Sorry. Let me go back up. Can't just walk. I gotta go on the, 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 the path. Don't wanna injure myself. Oh, this looks very safe. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Middle of the night. Just, just, just lost Martha. Only daughter left. It's fine. What? Oh, I, I can't walk. Let me walk around the log. Too dangerous to step over it. Taking precautions. It's okay. What is that? here in the woods how strange let's take a photo of one more camera to collect can you fucking use the camera please thank you Um, the, whoa, <laughs> hey. Uh, probably the lady that's, I don't know, walking. I 
Yeah, yeah, just leave all these cameras right by the water. It's fine. That's it. I've got them all. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them. Oh god, is she gonna kill me on my way up? I should rush home. I'm lagging. I'm panicking. <gasps> Why is it so dark? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. What the fuck? Why is it so dark? Somebody's fucking marking. Sprint. You sh 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 fucking so. Let the fuck go of me. Let go of me. Crusty ass. Get your crusty ass, watery ass arm off me. Now run. Oh shit. Why are you. Why are you. Girl, you're running into the mountain there. Oh. Sorry. That was. I, I had a controller. My bad. Oh. I might die. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I might die. Huh? What? That doesn't sound good. I think I died. I'm dead. Alright, I died. Let's start it over. Round two. That's my grave. Shit. Alright, yeah, I died. This is a big ass door. Wow, I'm tiny, huh? <clears throat> Hi, Martha. Uh, sorry, Julia. You pregnant? Yep, Satan. Satan's here. Satan has come. Alright, I gotta go. Definitely gotta go. Oh, what happened? You peed yourself? Okay. See, we should've got the boat. Maggots? Okay, that's fine. Kill it. Just kill it. Oh, she got her... All out. I'm telling you, we should have had that. Watch out for the candles. Ooh, that water not looking so good. Okay. Oh, I'm in the. Oh, hey. I didn't get so far. Oh, yet another nightmare. Oh. She entered my dreams once more. Looked like you had a little accident. Maybe she wants to talk to me. What am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Yet I feel... No, no, these are the thoughts of a crazy person, and I'm not crazy. Ew, um, you didn't have to stick your hand in there. Yeah, you might want to... Damn get... it, what's all this blood? I'm not due yet, and there's a lot more than usual. What's happening to me? I'm going to be joining Martha sooner than I thought. I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. It must be hidden within those walls. Ew. What? Is that a door? Oh, that's her window. Oh, all her pictures are upside down? Alright, let's wash you up because, ooh, I'm lagging. 
You're a little bit grody. Don't grab your bag. It's quite dark. Is she wearing jean shorts to bed? You're Girl, what you doing? That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. I'm not going to tell my doctor. I don't have the courage to use the phone. Not right now. Use your trusty bag that has everything you need in it. Well, they don't really have much, uh... What is she, dressed like a boy? It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Do it. How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods. Right next more to the what? House. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of No, please don't say that. It's it's not possible. I know the boy and I don't Father, anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. He must be terribly scared, and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're He's scared of her, that's why. And even the nanny, who deep down is a good woman. The nanny. I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia with her evil passion for those cards. They are cursed. Oh. Oh, she was into witchcraft. Of course. I keep them safe in my room. Oh, the mom uses them. I have to go. They come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? And Don Attilio, he is a great friend, but what a weird view. Those cards are just a game. Most important no, they're not, sweetheart. Mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? Because tarot cards are the curse of the devil. Dramatic news from the countryside. Archbishop Toccarelli will protest with the French in the city for the raping being committed by invading troops. You will order them to the city hospital. Sup, GG. The hell is this? What in the hell is that? That's absolutely ugly. Oh God. Who drew that? I am playing a game. Playing a game. Not struggling yet. The population are advised to stay in their cells or where these do not exist, churches and other large buildings. The patrols of German armed forces have orders to shoot at people who are on the street or who are found looking out. See? General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. Daddy stuff. War maps. I've heard everything will play out on this new defensive line. Where are your parents? Is this their room? Oh, Lord. This is mummy's jewelry. She wears them every day. Even though daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. 
As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. She's not wearing it right now. Where is she? Where are they? We have so much paperwork. Gone, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Erene, Erene. I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Pervitin again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Pervitin? What the fuck is Pervitin? Is that a real drug? Oh, hi, Jesus. They have so much- Dear mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You will see that her tummy is growing. Martha. She's a whore. I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. She has Satan's baby. I told you. I told you! Don't touch that shit. Oh, no. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? So, it sounds like the nanny was into witchcraft. Set her up. All right, let's see what it says today. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, one, whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. Two, whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. Three, whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them Will be shot. She's still out here chilling. Um, I don't know how long her body gonna la last. I'm stuck. Get your big old head. And this whole time I just been running around with those scissors in my pocket. She's crazy. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Yeah, but if she's deaf, then they wouldn't. She didn't know that. She... Julia, you ready? That's you loud ready? as fuck. I'm good to start. I have already started recording. No, my voice will sound awful. No way! Come on. Did you want to study singing anyway? No, no, no. I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready. Go. Oh, how nice. The rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording, but I was right. My voice is awful. Cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. What is a film role? On, on that? Is she talking about the pictures? Why is this music so loud? I know Martha's death, but god damn! Is this the oboe that she plays? I don't know what an oboe is. I feel, I feel like it's like a clarinet. She just carried all these in her pocket. There's no way in hell.
These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. She had the chance to be dead. Her memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. Well, actually, technically, she is dead. Never mind. Who is it? Is it Martha? It has to be. Here I was running toward the pier. Just as I remember. Oh, when she found the body, when she's like, I can't believe someone's in my lake. Who has the audacity? Wow, so dramatic. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. Okay. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes. Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. Yeah, let me just meet with the white lady, the one who's just running around the lake killing people. How come she looks like she she just got her makeup done? She's like, hold on, guys. Let me get my makeup done, touch her up, and then they took the photo. That's kind of sus, huh? Oh. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. What another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's. My sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me, thinking I was Martha, and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake, and now it's too late. If they find out I've been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha. Pretending to be dead. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now, and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone, and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. Partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend, and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them. So it's just impossible. So here, I needed the bike pump. I walked by and didn't even can see it. Like, why is the bike pump? Here's is that the bicycle pump? Yeah. That's a rusty ass bike. How you know I don't know my keys. My nails are too long. Oh God. Can you? This, what do you, oh, I can't, I can't ride my bike down here? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to ride this stupid bike. It's too complicated. I'm just going to run down there. This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy said. What do you mean it hasn't worked? The farm is going to work itself? Hey, look, there's a cow over here. Hello. When I was little. Hi. I never approached them alone. Oh, no one's been feeding you? We are in a... 
Sorry, guys. Gotta ration stuff out. Can I take a picture of that helmet? Oh, look at these bugs. You know, this does seem pretty unsafe considering we are in a war. They could be in the trees. Maybe I need to put on a helmet. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Oh. Now she could cut across. Should I keep going? I'm dead. I'm dead. I told- did I just not say they're gonna be in the trees and stuff? Okay, this is not- What's going on here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. See what's ha- She needs to put that helmet on. Okay. She- Okay, are they gonna shoot me? Okay, um, they're gonna gun me down. Take his gun. Take his gun. He's dead. Oh, God, please, no. Oh. No, no, my dear friend. What have they done to you? Killed him? Your boyfriend is dead. Now your baby's gonna have no father. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. Handkerchief. At least that is left of you. Ew, that has- it's all- is she smelling it? What a freak. Oh, is she wearing it? That has blood all- okay, they're gonna start bombing. We gotta go. You hear the helicopters? Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even See? your own mother and father. See? Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. She's dead. She's dead. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot. Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße. Scheiße. Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie oh. ist oh. die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. I'm sorry to think these Martha I give you back your appearance. It's 
raining blood. Who is that, her parents? Oh, yeah. Just give them back the face that you stole. Sew it right back on. It's fine. It's easy. No one will notice. Skin heels. So, my question is, how is there a lamp on that deck? Now, I see with my little eyes. Now I see with my eyes. What were you seeing before, huh? What were you using? The lady with the fog? Oh, oh. She's stealing your man. Um. <laughs> why are his shoes- Why are his shoes there? He has no feet. Those should have blown off. But still, why is there a lamp post there? There's no power source. What happened? Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. Uh huh. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. They're inseparable, Reaper. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing the medallion, she said quietly. What? They had trusted in fate. Oh, how nice. Drew lots. What does that mean? They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true. But it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. Julia? However... Little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. <sighs> She's pregnant. Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. The burial. Four days after Martha's death. Finally, it's about time they bear- Ew, look at her feet. You gotta make your- Who was sitting there? Who was sitting there? That is not weird. 
No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Well, maybe you should have locked it up. Where is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Lilith. But she will be all right. Oh. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't oh, need thoroughly. Much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death. Yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Death. Nothing more. Don't worry, Iris. She's young. So oh, she's going to eat it. Oh, bird more. fight. Watch Thank out. You, doctor. Oh, yes. damn. He beating him up. Oh, he dead. You mind coming with he dead. To pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. I feel like my eyelash is falling off. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping so she doesn't have to think about... So that's what I'm saying. Where were the parents this whole time? They were supposed to be indoors. They said stay away from the windows and all that, and they just over here opening them up. There's my bag, thank God. In the bathroom. Yes, right where I left it. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. July oh. 19th. That wasn't the right one. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. She's as possessed. As I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but... I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? Yeah. I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Because they don't love me. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. Why? No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try oh. my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. 6934. I knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. You didn't even shower, you stinky. You're filthy. What has become of you, huh? Martha? Julia? Gulia? Blinking like you're a camera? What's wrong with you? I would like to spend a moment with my sister. Just me and her alone. Before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. Still locked. Oh, seriously, where are my parents?
attempted murder in La Romola, after the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister, was the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. And best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. Ooh, the newspaper's lying. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The lira? has been cut and there is no coal. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Where the fuck's the phone? Hello? Oh. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can no, you can't. Her. no, you can't! No, you can't! Shh! Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh, my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, nanny, you're not dreaming. It's <gasps> only me, it's Julia. Oh, my god. Julia. Blew her cover. Now Satan can rise again. Okay, this is no time for chit chat. Nanny, everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. So that means they have the same exact voice. She had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady. No. Even if I knew it was a silly idea. She already did. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She's going to try to sacrifice she her. She to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. See? It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully See? in my diary. It's a setup. Who knows? Maybe she did it only to keep me occupied. While she is what to do with me the white worn. lady. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor nanny. Oh wow, what her luck, huh? Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One. I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. What? Daddy Why? Always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. Okay. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work. So I'll need scissors to cut some off. I have those. Three. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully Water? Something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four. To communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Oh. Oh god, the devil comes back. Nobody sees this. Where is everybody? And how are people just coming to her funeral? I thought there was poor a war. Lover. He's dead, poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side.
Well, don't touch it. Oh, God. Mary always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. You gotta put a dead bird next to your sister. Oh, great. Nobody... Oh. Oh, yeah. Just set it... Set it right on top of her. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Raven is making a big fuss. Yeah. Oh, it's a raven, not a crow. Don't. Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. Maybe you should kill it. What's? I hate bullying. Yet it seemed as if the raven wanted to bring the little bird back to life. Raven. That doesn't sound like a raven. That sounds like a beast. What was that? Was that a wolf? Oh, he's coming for your sister's body. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence. Death certificate. From the register of death certificates of this commune, number 174, part three. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay, Don Attilio D will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M, who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. What was that thing that was out here? Maybe only folk can kill it again. What? The raven? Get a gun and shoot it. Where are you leading me? Huh? I don't like this. Oh no. Are you follow are you taking me to the white lady? Yep, here's the fabric. I'm gonna die. Oh no. Dress. It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact it is torn. It must be my mother's. What was she doing, huh? Started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved saved. in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well, but I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it. But it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. She wanted you dead. That's why. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I play what? Music. Oh, okay. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. That you're not deaf? I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive to exist again. She's not Martha. She doesn't want to be Martha. She could hear again. It's a miracle. I mean, who's going to hear? Her parents haven't been home for how long?
What's going on here? Julia? Music? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet. No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? Is dead. I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. Mm -hmm. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she, she talked to me. I, I, no, it doesn't make sense. How could she talk? She was deaf. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. Is that the mom? You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. I think the mom has monsters in her head. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then... She began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. Well, lady. Before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. Lies. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She yeah, I don't think that. To hurt you. Oh, she did, Dad. Sorry, I meant Daddy. <sighs> Five days after Martha's death. Okay, so it's saved. I think I'm gonna call it there because I'm more than halfway done. So that way I have some left. All right. Well, I will get back to this. That is. Part one of Martha is dead, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.